All right, recently Xiaomi introduced Android 12 for their devices. Of course, not for all of them, but at least for Mi 11 series, all of Mi 11 series, Poco F3 and Redmi K40 series. Poco F3 and Redmi K40 is the same, but that's include Redmi K40 Pro Plus and so on, all of the Mi 11 series. Sadly, Android 12 for these devices is still in beta and it's only for Chinese models. So we have beta of Android 12, but it is only for Chinese market. This is Poco F3 and it is using the official MIUI Global 12.5.6 stable version and today I will install Android 12 on it. You can see we are now using Android 11. Of course guys, we need to use a custom ROM from our friends from Xiaomi EU and to do all of this, first we need to unlock the bootloader of our device. How to do this? You can find my step-by-step -step guide here. Just follow all the steps carefully. When your device is ready and you have unlocked bootloader, of course all your data will be deleted. This is the right moment to install our Android 12 custom ROM. We have factory resetted device, it is empty and we can just delete everything again because we want Android 12 to be installed here. But before we start, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do this now and hit that bell icon so you will never miss a video. Let's jump in. Alright guys, so we need to move to our computer. Okay, we are now at our computer, from here we need to open the browser and of course go to this website xiaomi.eu and from here just select MIUI ROM releases, scroll down a little bit, select MIUI 12 because Android 12 for Xiaomi devices is still using MIUI 12.5 not MIUI 13, we are still waiting. Scroll down and select the latest release for your device. I will show how to find the latest release for Android 12 devices. The latest is not from that Friday but from the last week. So we need to tap here. They are, they are just selected by the dates. You can see 21st of October. So just scroll down and go to first page of course. When you are at first page, here is the ink BRZY, this is the moderator of Xiaomi EU, thanks mate, you are doing great job for all the Xiaomi community. So just scroll down and read here everything carefully. And download weekly, this is weekly, this is not a stable build because we still don't have Android 12 stable build for our Xiaomi devices. We are using the beta. So you, if you scroll down a little bit, you will find that table. Devices list weekly ROMs. And here is the Android version. And it is written. It is using fastboot method or it is using a recovery. And here comes the important part because we still don't have a custom recovery for Android 12 for Xiaomi devices. We need to use the fastboot method. And this is the only way for now. So guys, just follow my steps carefully. You can see all the devices here and their Android version. So first one is Xiaomi Redmi K40 or Poco F3 like mine. This is same device, other device we have it. K40 Pro plus Mi 11i. It's also using Android 12. Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro. Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite 5G. What else we have here? Xiaomi Mi 10S and Xiaomi Mi 11. These are all the devices which are supporting Android 12. When you find yours and you can see the code name of your device here on the first row, mine is Aliat or something, I'm not sure how to read this. And here, download weekly, this is the date and after that it's written Android 12 devices so we need to download these files just tap on the first link scroll down and 
find your device here it is mine k40 poco f3 and just be careful when you are selecting your device really be careful select the proper device here this is mine redmi k40 or poco f3 it is written fast boot at the end of the name because this is using a fast boot process as i already explained you and will show you in a minute so guys when you find the right firmware for you just tap here on download it will open the next page click here to start download and here it is select the mirror which is downloading faster for you and start downloading the rom and save it somewhere on your computer i already downloaded it keep in mind it is around 4 gigabytes so it's always better to use a wi-fi connection so guys when you download it just open your folder where you download your file here is mine xiaomi.eu multi hm k40 poco f3 date v12 means we are using a dri12 and after that it's written fastboot because we are using fastboot method so right click on it and select to extract it okay let's open the folder and see what we have here these are the important files windows fastboot first install with data format dot bat and windows fastboot update rom so guys these are the two important files so if you are trying to install the, this custom rom for the first time after you unlocked your bootloader you need to use that windows fastboot first install with data format this of course will format all your data in your phone so backup everything before you start and the second file is windows fastboot update rom if you already have a custom rom from xiaomi eu you need to select that file it will just update your firmware without deleting your data so this is how the fastboot method is working of course we are we are for the first time after unlocking the bootloader so we need to select that file windows fastboot first install with data format and now what we need to do we need to move to our phone here on the phone we need to hold the power button and select power off when your device is turned off you need to hold volume down and power button and you are now at fast boot mode when you are here you need to connect your device to the computer of course you will need to have installed the drivers on your computer if you don't have one i suggest you to install xiaomi flash tool it will install all the drivers that you need and you can connect your device to the computer if you still can't connect your device to a computer you need to disable driver signature enforcement on windows so these are the steps to install proper drivers now we need to connect the device to the computer let's connect it of course guys remember again you need to have unlocked bootloader now our device is connected all our drivers are installed everything is perfect and we need to start windows fastboot first install with data format i need to repeat this again this is, this will format all your data and this is if you are installing custom rom for the first time on your device if you already have installed one use the second windows fastboot update rom so select this file and tap twice on it you are going to wipe your data and internal storage it will delete all your files and photos stored in internal storage do you agree of course this is important message select yes and tap enter so now it will start sending the files to your phone and will start installing everything keep in mind this process will be long so you can open a beer or a cup of coffee and just wait patiently.
and this is it finally it's ready our android 12 is installed on our poco f3 or your mi 11 series device or redmi k40 you can see the whole process is completely automated so you just connect your phone select the file windows fastboot first install with data format and it will do everything by itself no need to do anything so we are now ready with the computer we can disconnect our phone and now i will go through the setup process and will show you that this device is using android 12. sadly as i already told you it is still using miui 12.5 So we are now at our home screen, let's go and check the important thing. You can see already it's written xiaomi.eu which means we have that custom ROM installed on our device. Tap here, scroll down all specs and let's check Android version is 12, SKQ1. Here it is. That was it. We have Android 12 installed on our Xiaomi device and you can do this by following my steps. If you want to make a full review of that Android 12 for Xiaomi devices, just let me know down in the comments. And if this video helps you somehow, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.